So one of my colleagues here at Felt put together this amazing resource called the World Atlas of GIS Data Sources. I'll link to it in the video description if you've never seen it. But it's essentially a felt map that has these different data layers. And as you hover your cursor over different parts of the map, you're going to see these pop-ups. And you can click on them and navigate through. These are their own individual standalone country maps. And these have their own data layers that have these pop-ups, and they have links to various data sets and resources where you can click through. It's really just a great repository of data. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own atlas of GIS data sources. Okay, step one. First things first, if you don't already have a Felt account, pause this video, head over to felt.com, set up a new account, and then create a new map. Now in this example, I'm going to link one data set on my map here and then you'll know how to do it and you can expand this to create your own atlas with all of your own sources. I'm over here at the NYC Open data page and I'm going to scroll down and find the greatest data set that ever existed ever. So if you go to popular data sets, if you scroll down, that is where you will find the 2018 Central Park Squirrel Census data set. Now I'm going to come back to my felt map here, and I'm going to zoom all the way into Central Park. And I want to add a pin right here. So I'm going to go up to the toolbar and grab the Shapes drop-down menu, and then select Pin. And now I can place a pin directly on Central Park. And over here on the left, you can now see a pin under the list of elements. And for the next step, I want to add data attributes. And this is all the information you're going to see in the actual pop-up. I can do that over here in the Style Editor. You have a Details tab, and then just below that, there's a button that says Add Row, and now we can see these fields here for name and value. This is where I can manually enter in this information. So first, you know, I'm going to add like four different things here. So first we'll do Name. I'll copy the name of this data set, which is right over here. Just copy this and paste it directly into the value of this. And let's say we also want to do Description. I have a nice description right here. Copy paste. Of course, we want to provide a link to the data set. That's the whole purpose of this exercise. So I'll copy the URL, paste that in here. And I can also include an image. So I can do this via URL. So I did a Google search for New York City squirrels, and I found this nice image here, which is actually an animated GIF. And these happen to work as well. So if you click through, I'm going to right click it and do copy image address. Just make sure you copy the right address so that the, the actual extension is an image file. Okay, so now I have these four data attributes in my element. For the next step, I actually want to convert this element to a data layer. That's really easy. I'm going to simply right click, go down to actions, convert to layer. Okay, so I've got my new data layer. I'm going to quickly rename this Squirrels of Central Park. Now if I click directly on the pin, you'll see I now have my pop-up and all four of my attributes are here. However, it's looking pretty ugly. I want to, you know, make this look a little bit better. You can customize your pop-ups over here in the pop-up section. So if you click on contents, you see all these different parameters which you can customize. And if you have the pop-up open, as you change these, you'll see live updates. So for example, I can change this to list mode. I'm going to go ahead and change the title. And in this drop-down menu, I can just select the name that I put in. There we go, there's the name. For image URL, I'm going to select the image. There we go, there's our animated GIF. So that's looking pretty great. I have the name, I have the description here. Now you'll see I still have the image with the link down here, so that's looking a little gross. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And for the link, I'm going to grab this and move it up so we have it at the top. There we go. And one final little tweak, under the Show section, I can have this pop-up show up as I hover my cursor over, which is very cool. I like that. So now as I just hovered over, this is going to pop up. Okay, so now if I'm zoomed out, and let's say I have a bunch of different pins here, I can now quickly navigate and hover my cursor over this pin and quickly see what it is. Oh, it's the census squirrel data, the most important data set ever created. Now if I click on it, this will actually stay. Now I can scroll down. Click on it, there we go, it links me directly to this data set. And then naturally, if you actually want to work with this data, you can just go over here to export, go to the drop down menu, and grab basically any of these files. I'm going to go ahead and grab, well, let's just grab the KML and we'll download this. Now I can drag this directly into Felt, but you don't even need to do that because if you simply hit Shift L, that's going to bring up the layer library. And if you search for Squirrel, there it is. This data set is already in our layer library. I mean, what else 
do you need in your GIS tools? Everything is here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. Don't forget to check out our World Atlas of GIS data sources. See you in the next one.